I'm having the best time today. I'm interviewing a woman who makes me laugh a lot. Her name is Lina Munro. She's our woman in focus. Um, you know, you've done so many sketches, and I was so pleased to come to the the best of. I can't believe it's not butter chicken. We're so pleased to have you there. Well, well you know, um, you've got some really wonderful people working with you. Can we talk a little bit about sure, that? Sure, of course. Yeah. Well, my the co-creator, right. co-founder, co-writer, my business partner, and one of my best friends is Manish Sharma. Mm -hmm. So he's not here with us because he's not a woman. Yes, that's right. But he must be. But he is in focus. And, um, <laughs> I love and the way he dances. Yeah, it doesn't so happen. exaggerated. Do you know that one girl, one of our shows, she yelled, "Manish, marry me!" <laughs> Did you? <laughs> and I will say. The stuff that I do, though, I don't think I look very attractive. <laughs> Nobody asked me to marry them after. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were fantastic, snake? especially the no. snake one was the no, best. The guys Nobody don't said, like that. I think the no. women like snake ones. Uh, <laughs> I do. I've noticed that. Yeah? And, uh, the guys don't like whole, it. Uh, a few men have said to me they enjoyed the sketch, and, yeah. but they were creeped out by it. Really? Right? Because she's a woman who yeah. thinks she's a snake. Yeah. Disguised as a pretty woman, but when the <laughs> creepy music plays, she becomes a snake, right? It's weird. Um, but she's funny, and the scenarios are really absurd. Right. And um, I, think, I think women are, they love it. Like, yes. I, they hoot the holler, they talk about it afterwards. Yeah. It's because they want that kind of freedom. Yeah. If they want to be a snake or whatever, let them. Let them be. They let them be. Whereas <laughs> the men are just sort of like, this is, okay, it's funny, I'll laugh, it's weird. You know? <laughs> you do that, stay away from me. <laughs> Um, so you, you've got some, some, some interesting people working with you. Oh, yes. Yeah, how many of you are in Bollywood tonight? Well, Manish and I, we're, uh, of the, course, in every show. Yeah. Uh, we write the show. We, we're, we're in all the sketches. But our cast changes from, from show to show because mm -hmm. some people get very busy doing other things. Right. And um, Kevin uh, Tagger, mm -hmm. Kulpur Tagger, uh, Kalu Mitra, those two have been with us from uh, the beginning, okay. uh, about a year and a half ago. Right. Uh, our girls keep changing. Right. Um, which, to me, is a little bit sort of indicative of, I don't know if the material is always so comfortable for South Asian women, ah. right? Yes. But it's getting better. So When we were promoting, uh, I can't believe it's not butter chicken, we had to continue saying to people that it's a little, you know, adult comedy. It is. And, yeah. and, and I was wondering, uh, rest of the comedy, all over the comedy shows, is adult. Yes. And why do we have to why tell keep, our, you're right. you know? Why do we keep having to warn them? Apologize. I never thought of that. You're right, though. You're Isn't absolutely it? right. Yeah. Why couldn't it just be? It's a comedy show. Yes. But, comedy is comedy is you know? comedy. But yeah. it, uh, no, we, we definitely get into some very adult themes. I think we do it in a very sort of, I think we do it in a classy way, though. Yes. Like, it's different from, I, I like Russell Peters, yeah. but it's different. From, yeah. But I didn't find, uh, so, so, so my point was that when, when I saw it, I didn't find it to be obnoxious. Oh, good. Yeah. And I, and I was okay. thinking, hmm. Oh. Why are people offended? Yeah. yeah. Some of the material, I think, well, you know, our typical brown girl characters, played right. by, uh, this last one was played by uh, a white girl, right. actually. Yes. Aga Postu, mm, her last mm. name always eludes me, but she did a great job. Yes. Um, she did a much better job than, you know, we had even thought, because she's mm. not Indian. Mm -hmm. She did a great job. And uh, the rest of the cast members, oh, Jessica, um, Jessica has been with us right from the beginning as well. Right. And she's, uh, she's had some, the Carlita. Right. Is, she's yes. half Filipino. Okay. Our cast isn't all Indian, which is no. nice. It's about 50% Indian. I know. And a mix. And, and that's how you, you, you can bring in, you know, the multicultural yeah. aspect to it. Absolutely. Because there is one skit, very quickly I want to talk about sure. that, where, is, where the, the mother-in-law is mean. Yes. You know, <laughs> and she gets this daughter-in-law, future daughter-in-law. Perfect. Daughter -in -law, who's perfect. She's and perfect. Are <laughs> There you go. Yeah. And she does the arti better than the mother in law. Much better. <laughs> right? And uh, and it was really fun to work with Alicia on that. Mm -hmm. we, we sang arti together quite a bit. That sketch comments not just on the fact that you know, still in this yeah. day and age it's it's harder for people who want to have multicultural mixed marriages. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It happens even within our culture. It, it does. happens. Yes. How many mother in law stories are there That's right. where you're thinking, Are look yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. They're the same culture. Yes. They love each other. What is the problem? I, 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 I want to do a thesis into the, the psyche of a mother-in-law and a daughter-in-law. Really? It would be, be fantastic. I, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> where, do you see, where do you see Bollywood shenanigans in the next little part? Oh Well, we're having a lot of fun with it. We're putting on more shows. Um, yeah. You know, people visit our website, www.bollywoodshenanigans.com. Mm -hmm. um, they'll, they'll see the updates. But mm -hmm. the next show is planned in um, mid-October. Okay. And again, it'll be at Studio 700, 700 Hamilton Street, the CBC Studio Theatre. Right. So that's a good venue, and we'd, we'd like to continue working there for the next year or so. Good. We'd, we'd like to tour. We've mm -hmm. talked about touring. Mm -hmm. uh, and eventually, we'd like to turn it into a TV show. That would be fantastic. Yeah, because I think you know? that people, we have multicultural audiences. Yes, we do. And we're reaching people. We had well over, I think, 650 people attend over the four that's days. Right. That's right. And we right. were sold out. Yeah, you know, people each and every tickets. show. Yeah. I, I remember there were some people standing in the back as well, you know. 
You know, it's great. I think you guys are going to do really well because you are breaking new grounds. And this is an amazing way of bringing issues in front of people with a very, you know, easy, easy way of looking at oh, it. Oh, thank you. And Believe comedy. It. Underneath it all, it's love. It see? is. Nice. <laughs> Dina Munro, thank you so much for being a woman in focus. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Don't go away. We'll be right back.